Hey guys, it's Bailey Wiki, and uh, we're looking at one of the scenes from the release uh, that just came out today. It is July 3rd, 2024. There's a bunch of docks and farm lines and stuff that came out. But what I want to show you, if I kind of zoom in on this scene here, so I'm going to start to rotate around. I'm going to start to pan around the scene and look at the sails above the ships. Uh, find a reference point here. And you can see that they are sliding around. And they're sliding around because they are at a higher elevation than the ground. And this is what we're going to talk about today in this tutorial. Uh, this is a new module called Parallax Tiles by the developer Endless Nights. I'll link to it in the description. But uh, what's interesting about it is it lets you take 2D maps like this and, and add that kind of three-dimensional uh, sort of immersion effect to it. All right, let's look at one more example, and I'll show you how to use it. Right here, I've got this kind of city scene, right, with the kind of a walled city. And if I scan around, you'll notice that the trees are moving around. And they're actually moving at different rates. And in fact, even this tower top is moving. This tower top is the tallest thing on the scene, so it moves the fastest of everything, meaning it's closer to the foreground. It's closer to our camera view, if you will. So it moves faster. So let's talk about how to use this really simple module. This won't be a long tutorial at all. Before I jump in, in case you haven't been to my channel before, I'm Bailey Wiki, and between me, Zephyr, and the rest of the staff, we produce content for everyday DMs who just want to make really great experiences for their players. So if you like uh, VTTs, you specifically like Foundry or use Dungeon Draft, we generally have a video on how to make really, really great experiences for your players using effects and artwork and technology and other things. So with that said, so first thing you wanna do is actually install the module Parallax Tiles. Now, this is not the same as the old uh, Parallaxia, I think is what it was called, that made your, you know, your tiles scroll across the screen. This is a different module, Parallax Tiles, and it is uh, currently in development uh, by Endless Nights. Right, so the way it works is uh, it's pretty simple, but before I jump in, I'm going to show you one trick that you should do probably before you even start. Well, here, let, let's start just by showing you where, where to find the main configuration. So you open up any tile like this tree, you go to the parallax tab that's introduced by the uh, module, and you can enable this tile for parallax function. See, uh, you can toggle it on and off and see the effect of how it moves that tile around. You have what's called a mesh mode and a texture mode, although I haven't paid with, played with texture mode. Evidently, it works uh, better with tileable textures, uh, which maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. You can have a max displacement, which, you know, we could say like 400 here, and we could see how much it then displaces that tile. So if you don't want your tiles to move that much, you can always constrain them to that max displacement. And then the last one, this actually will not be in here by default. I'm going to copy it. And by default, it'll put a one in here. That is our default parallax factor. But you'll notice if you read the tips down here, you can actually calculate it. So if we say at elevation, space, and then the star for times, 0 0.1, what it'll do, it'll take the elevation of the tile, in this case 30, and it will automatically calculate it for uh, how much parallax effect it will apply. Right, so you can see how much it applied here by me uh, changing that. Now, if I double it, if I just change it to 0.2, you can see how much it changes. It's quite a bit. So you don't want to change this value very much. 0.1 is uh, maybe maybe your default. So what I wanted to show you, and by the way, you can also have the parallax um, lock to only a, a particular axis. There might be uh, scenes where you're sort of traveling up the scene and you want things to parallax left or right. I don't know. But anyway, it's in there in case you need it. We'll turn this back on and I'm going to copy this statement here at elevation times 0 0.1. And I'm going to come in here to configure settings, come down to parallax tiles, and you'll notice two things. One, you can enable it or disable it on a particular client. If your players don't want it, Maybe it makes them sick, whatever, you can toggle it off. Uh, but what we want to do, if you want to make it more dynamic, like I just showed you, is put that parallax factor in here and replace that default of one. So we'll save our changes, reload our world. Okay, so we're back to our scene. So some tips to be able to use it. Uh, here, let's go to another scene. 
we'll go to the town orchard, right? So this is uh, this is a bunch of you know uh, buildings as a district in a much larger town in my town series. And we have this orchard. We have these trees over to the left here. So what I'm going to do is select one of those trees. I'm in, by the way, I'm in uh, V12 world. Parallax tiles only works with V12. So I'm going to go to my overhead tiles. And now I'm going to use Mass Edit. It's a free module that I publish called Bailey Wiki Mass Edit. And I hit Shift F for find. And what I want to do is look for all the trees. Uh, that's not a tree. Let's find a tree. There we go. So I want to take. Look for all the trees. I'll put a star in here, use a wild card, and I'll hit search and edit. Now it's selected all of my treetops. Now I'm going to come in here to overhead, and I'm going to right click elevation, and I'm going to set it from 10 to, say, 40, and I'll uh, make it one increment difference each time. So what it's going to do, it's going to take all these tiles, it's going to randomize their height from 1 to 4, from 10 to 40. Click apply. And then I want to apply the parallax effect. So I'll make sure that's on mesh mode. Uh, let's make a max of 150. And we've got our parallax factor is already defaulted. We'll just make sure that's selected. Click apply. Okay, did you see how everything just moved around? Mass edit just uh, applied all of these settings to all the different trees all at once. Now, if I rotate around, I can see the trees all move really based on their on their heights, right? And I can come in here and make these specific. I can make, you know, some of the trees at the top uh, parallax more than others, that kind of thing. I can even parallax my roofs of my houses. Really, any tile that's an overhead tile, you can parallax that. And if you can believe it, that's it. That's how fast this tutorial was. Parallax tiles works great if you're using overhead tiles like trees and towers and other kinds of overhead effects in your maps. And it just really gives it that sort of instant you know, three-dimensional effect as your players are navigating around the map. I will also mention that Ripper, um, just coincidentally, at the exact same time, added a similar effect to Tile Scroll. So if you have Ripper's uh, Tile Scroll, which I believe is free, and you go to the Animation tab, you'll notice that you have a Parallax effect that you can add here as well. If you want, you can try a Parallax Strength of something like 3, and it will give you the same kind of effect as uh, Parallax Tile. So Feel free to try both of them. Let me know in the comments if one works better than the other or if you have any feature requests of either of the developers. But I love the effect. I think it's great and it's super easy to implement. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me Again, let me know in the comments if you have any uh, ideas about this for either myself or the developers. And in the meantime, have fun making your maps.